Hello guys, welcome to my first video. This is my first ever YouTube video. It's like, I don't even know what to say. I've been wanting to do this makeup collection video for like a long time. I mean, probably last year around this time, I did my first one. I filmed all my makeup in my bathroom. At the time, my collection was still smaller than it is right now. Unfortunately, when I was editing that makeup collection video, I accidentally deleted one of the clips. <laughs> in the original video so it turns out i have this huge section of darkness in my video recently i wanted to clean my room clear out all the space like my makeup has been so cluttered and piled up in my bathroom and i realized okay i need a new organizer i need to make some space and get my stuff together and i was thinking yeah maybe it's time i'm going to film another makeup collection video and I hope this time I don't make any mistakes during editing I mean, in my opinion, I don't think I have that much makeup I might go into a little more details into the product that I've been accumulated over the years but yeah, I think that's it, let's just get into it so right now what you see on the top of my drawer here eyeshadow brush collection from BH Cosmetics except these two black ones I made this purchase on BH Cosmetics website because I really like the neon color and I put the brushes here basically just for like display purpose and behind I have a basket of London stuff, some Morphe setting spray and this iconic London setting spray so on the first drawer here is a bunch of my messy random skincare products a lot of them I received from BoxyCharm and some I purchased by myself like this one is a facial scrub from BoxyCharm I received from last month. I think this is like a scrub facial scrub for some purpose. Um, but I used it once. It actually hurts my skin when I scrub it. It feels really harsh. I don't know. Maybe just me. And some other facial mask. This is also a facial mask from BoxyCharm. And eye cream that I don't know the brand name. Anything that is from Origins. I purchased by myself from the website. I, I like to buy like little set value pack of uh, products so you can see many of my origin products are those mini size. Even though they're mini size, I had them for a while, I still haven't used up all of them yet. I really like this um, sleeping mask. It's like, like avocado flavor. And I have two of them. This is an eye cream from BoxyCharm I got recently, from this month's BoxyCharm. On the side I have a face peeling mask from e.l.f. They have really beautiful facial masks. Like, I don't even care if it works for my skin, but just looking at the formula, it's like has like, I don't know if it shows on the camera, but it has like glitters inside. It probably looks nasty from camera, I don't know. But it smells super good, and when you apply on the skin, it has this like unicorn radiance glow and i enjoy using things that's like makes me happy <laughs> and it's another one of those in the mini size also from i do care their disco kitten facial mask this is um lotion from boxycharm in the brand sunday skin lotion is really good like no fragrance and this one the brand skin food it has like a gel like texture but I bought this because I love the smell. It smells really like a fresh peach. And right here, I have some random elf brush. I don't know how to use it. I don't know what to use it for. So my hairband, random body lotion from the Victoria's Secret. I'm actually thinking about getting an organizer for this first drawer so it wouldn't look so messy. But this is all I have. In the second drawer, I have some random um, patches. <laughs> I don't know. Think about this are mixed basically facial mask, facial wipe I got from BoxyCharm this month. This is um, facial radiance pads I recently also got from BoxyCharm. The brand First Aid Beauty. I honestly don't know how to use it and uh, what is it used for, but I'll figure that out. So the third drawer finally comes to the makeup part. Mm, let me see. I recently transferred all my makeup from my bath bathroom to this uh, my new Alex drawer, so it looks pretty neat and clean. I mean. At least in my opinion. Pretty organized for now. I don't know how it's gonna be after a couple months. I have 
the Luxie sponges I recently got from BoxyCharm. I mean, I didn't think there was a big difference between makeup beauty blenders because, come on, it's just sponges. But when I touch this one, oh my god, it feels so much dense and firm than the other sponges I used to use. I mean, I don't know why I call it sponges. I mean, makeup blenders. Blend beauty blenders. Beauty blenders. Facial powder, both from BoxyCharm. This is uh, from Seattle, London. Seattle? London, yeah. It's a setting powder and it's from Becca. I love this Becca powder. You know, people who use this knows when you put it on, it has like a wet water water feeling. This is a highlighter actually. I bought it from Becca a long time ago. And it looks like this. I actually never use it though. And I think it comes in like really packaging, really cheap packaging with them. People collaborate with them. I thought the packaging would look more luxury, but I don't know. And my facial spray, another thing from Mario Betty Stu. I can't even read the brand name. Some e.l.f. primer mist and some like, concealer from ColourPop. I use it as an eyeshadow primer. It's ultra eyeshadow primer. It's a brow gel. I recently got from Boxy Charm. And this is from e.l.f. Should be a primer. And there's another random product from e.l.f. I don't know what is it for. It literally tells you the brand name and the weight. And that's it. Like it looks like this. I don't know what is it for. And I got, I got this in a set of product I bought from e.l.f. If you know what is this for, please comment down below and let me know so I can actually make a use of this. And this are my foundations. I have the Tarte Rainforest and Water Based Foundation. And below I have a ColourPop, two Wet n Wild, um, and another Maybelline Fit Me. Yeah. And the ColourPop foundation stick. I barely use any of those foundations because I don't use foundation on my daily basis. I just like to go with my bare face. Coming here will be primers so from e.l.f. No problem from Touch and Soul. Some facial oil. It's a facial oil. I used it once under makeup. It was so glittery. It has glitters in there. So, yeah. Another primer, facial primer from e.l.f. And here's some random mini products. This is an eyeshadow primer and from Catrice, what is that? Primer base. I guess this is for face from Tarte. This is a primer. Oh, this is setting spray from Tarte, and this is an eyeshadow. Doesn't belong to this category, but I put it here because it doesn't fit with my eyeshadow palette. On the third one, which is my favorite drawer, has all my bronzer, bronzer, highlighters, and blushes. So blushes I have here, the Elf. And Physicians Formula in the shade Plum Rose. This blush though, the color looks really different. But when I actually got it, it's not really showing up. Like, it, it doesn't show up in my swatches. It doesn't show up on, on my face unless I apply like a large amount. So I haven't really used it that much. A blush from Note Cosmetic. This one I got from BoxyCharm in the shade Desert Rose. Looks like this. I used it once or twice, but the color is very pigmented, it's very intense. Seattle London, I love their packaging and the inside. When I first got this, I thought, oh my god, this shade will be too dark for me. But when I actually apply on my face, the shade is actually not as dark as it looks in the pan. I just like the fact that there's not so much glitter in there. Colourpop Super Shock Blush. This is one of my favorite. Looks like this. I really like their texture though. It's like a... It's not cream, but like a more like a wet powder. I personally really like cream blushes because, you know, because my face is really dry and apply powders, layers of powders, just make it even more dry. Sometimes I don't use bronzer and I just put some cream blushes on top of my face. And that's the way I go out. Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. I really know this is um, a lot of people's favorite. Looks like that. I mean, I think I used a ton of it. You can't even tell because the way they press the powder. I wish it was more matte. Just personal preference. Blush from Tarte. Everybody's saying that Tarte has like the most 
best quality of blush. I mean, for me, it's okay. I like the color, I like this matte, but it's like, I personally prefer cream blushes, that's it. This is in the shade Insightful. Balm Spring blush in the shade, I don't even know what the shade is this. I bought this from the Balm website and um, hoping the color will be a little lighter than what it looks like in, in the pan. I mean, I still use it, it's very intense, but personally I probably will go for a more nude and um, lighter blush color but I love the packaging, it's like so cute, so unique lastly I have the Milani blush the rose blush in the, in the shade Blossom Rose I just love the way they press the powder into this flower shape so beautiful, makes me not even want to use it too much because I don't want to destroy the flower shape I have another blush from Milani that's also one of their rose collection I think this in the Shea Romantic Rose. This used to be my favorite blush color. However, I dropped it and somehow cracked the powder and then repressed to the pan. When I repressed to the pan, it did not stick. Like, it still came out as broken. So for some reason, I don't want to throw it away because I don't think I can still get this shade number. I don't have like, I see some people online, they have like whole drawer full of blushes and full of bronzer and highlighter. I don't have that much, so maybe I hope I don't. Essence Pure Nude. It's a perfect highlighter for everyday makeup look. It's very subtle and you can see the big dent in the middle is how much I've used it. And this is a Too Faced. This is a, okay. I recently got this from the website and it is described as a bronzer, but you know the real only reason I bought this is because I love the packaging, especially the way the powder was pressed into the pan. I literally will buy things with Good looking packaging. That's the reason I got this bronzer. As a bronzer, is actually kind of too light to be used as a bronzer, and it has like pink tones in there. So I use it as a highlighter or something just to give some lighting on my face. This is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. I love this. I'm actually using the brush inside because it's convenient. And then I have a highlighter from the Balm. Very, very intense highlight. And behind this a bunch of single eyeshadows because I don't have any more highlighters to fit, to fit in there. This two from BoxyCharm. And the brand Ace Beauty. This has like a similar to Colourpop type of a cream powder material. It has glitters in there. Super beautiful. And behind this bunch of Colourpop. In the shade Bay. Sailor, yeah, set to stone, bratty. Bratty should have the similar texture as their cream blushes, I think. For a while, I haven't used it for a long time, and the shadow just got a little hard. Like you can see, it's not as moisture as the way it was before. One of their Jelly Match single shadow in the shade Hallucinogenius. I have two actually because when they sent me the first one, there's some like weird contents in there. And I just emailed them and they sent me another re one for replace. This jelly much shadow though. This jelly doesn't stay as jelly the whole time. Like right now, my shadow is all dried. It's like dried pan right now. It's not a jelly. Which you can still use, but it's no longer jelly. Here I have a highlighter also from Too Faced. I got this from BoxyCharm. Looks like this. I love their packaging though. And here I have some random samples from different brands when I purchase from website. Just save it here. I never use them. Maybe I will use them. These are also samples, like a little mini size. This is the this is the eyeshadow from the balm. Looks like this little grayish shimmer color. And this is Too Faced bronzer. One of their old bronzers. I used it a couple of times but the shade is kind of too dark for my skin tone. And I tend to reach for bigger bronzers with fancier packaging. Then I have this Huda Benefit bronzer. I bought this too at the same time at Ulta. But I wish I went with the Huda light because compared to all the other bronzers I have, this is probably the darkest one. Because everybody was saying that this is like one of the best bronzers that they ever own and I like to be with the majority. So I bought this regular shade but next time probably will go for the lighter shade. This is another bronzer from the Balm. The shade I don't know of but the one of the lighter shade I think and I like the fact it's matte and it's super powdery easy to blend and the shade is just like perfectly for my skin tone 
Little behind, I have this elf bronze. I bought this mainly because I like the way they press the pan. It's like four different shades in one pan. And it's a little shimmer. One part I don't like is because it's a shimmer. But otherwise, I really like this bronzer. Another bronzer from Rimo. I bought this from drugstore and um, very good quality. It just the shade was too warm for me, so I don't use it as much. Uh, this is actually a blotting powder from e.l.f. I bought this because I because my forehead tend to get greasy and I press powder on top of it but this doesn't last the whole day so I haven't been using it as much and on the side of course I have my favorite everybody's favorite Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer this is in the shade um, Sunkiss Bronzer and this is the shade Bronzer look how much I love it and lastly I have this my newly purchased Colourpop collection Your Cutie this is the highlighter in the shade Forget Me Not and the blush. This highlighter has like this creamy, watery, wet texture. Look at that. Like I usually I wouldn't go for this heavy hand on my face, but it's like if you smudge it a little bit, it comes out with like very natural, glowy tone. Same thing with the blush. I mean, I'm gonna start taking out and using it more. I love this blush and the highlighter that comes in this collection. However, I do feel a little different about the eyeshadow palette that comes in this collection, but which I will go into later. And lastly, this is like a random nothing drawer. It's not as well organized. I have some three mascaras I no longer use. This is probably one of my favorite mascara I ever used. Before, I don't think there's any difference between mascaras. I mean, they just gel, black gel looking thing. But until I use this one, I realized, oh, there is actually a difference. And this is, and this one has probably what they call tubing mascara. It's when you take off your makeup, you rinse with hot water, the mascara will come off as tubes. So it won't, so it never really gets smudged around my eye to make my eye look smoky. And it comes with two tips, the regular thick one and a little thin one, which is perfect for lower lash lines. I have two mascara from Essence. I used to buy a lot of um, mascara from Essence because their ratings are good and they're cheap. Oh, I have another one here, which is from BoxyCharm. This is a Tard Big Ego mascara. I mean, I love this mascara. I just wish the tip was not that big. I don't keep many mascaras in my collection because I know they're only good for three months, technically. And if you using more than three months, there's a higher risk of getting eye infection and have uh, bacteria piled up in those tubes. So I keep my mascara collection really small and only use, technically I'm using one at a time. So I wouldn't reach to the next one until one is used up. Here's just my random lipstick and lip balm from different random places. This is a lip scrub from Elf. This is also lip tint. Even though it's a lip balm, but it does come with a color, but very mild. I used to keep it in my backpack, so all the packaging is being wear out. This is another one of my earliest owned lip balm. Look at that. Like this is, that's all that's left in the tube. I got this from Forever 21. This is lipstick from Essence. I bought lipstick in this shade, which of course I never use. Not even on Halloween. It just one day I was really curious, what do I look like in purple lips? And I bought this and tried it out and never reached for it again. Some more lips here from Tarte. Two lipstick from Milani. My favorite shade is this um, Matte Naked. It has this nude finish, like a dark plum. Looks like this. Two lipstick from Essence again. This is one of their early collection Matte 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 lipstick. Oops. This also used to be my backpack. You can tell the logo is almost gone because I've used it a lot. Then I have this four Luxe lipstick from ColourPop in this shade. The packaging feels really luxury. It's heavy. The lipstick is a good quality. And of course, Tasha facial primer. Oh, it's getting dirty. Primer, everybody was saying they're the best and I used it. But I only use it for eyeshadow primer though because I don't do foundation that much. Right here, a little brow pen from BoxyCharm. And right here, I have some random eyeliners and brow pencil. 
Benedra Brown pencil is literally one of my favorite. This three product comes in a packaging like this. They sell like in a value pack. I'm using the shade 03, I think. I really like the value. This is like 30 plus dollars. And you got three products. Some other random things here. This is from a Japanese brand, Love Liner. And a lip pencil. Yeah, I also got this from Boxing Chan. Lastly, I mean, this is probably my favorite drawer. I have a big, big obsession for eyeshadow palette. Like, I have more eyeshadow palette than any other makeup product I own. This is a contour palette from Profusion. One of my favorite shades is the medium brown, medium contour. Because I hate paint on this. And inside I have, this is, I got this from BoxyCharm from Tarte eyeshadow palette. I think this is a really great neutral everyday go-to palette. I used to take this to travel a lot. And it does come in the packaging that they use for a different eyeshadow, but I just tear out the middle part of it. And then I have this palette from Forever 21. This is one of my first ever owned eyeshadow slash blush palette. I bought this palette before I even got into makeup. It's just something I saw and I liked it. Since I have like a million other palettes right now, I don't use this anymore. And underneath that, probably my one and only big palette from Morphe 35H. Looks like this. Ooh, look at the color tone. I saw this at Ulta, I opened the palette and it was gorgeous colors inside. I'm only going for neutral shades like this, this, like here. These are the shades I go to. I like never go into that area. It just maybe I should like one thing a while I should like go break my comfort zone and start trying uh, unique colors and like cool tones. But every day I go for this neutral and warm tone color. And this shade, the really gorgeous, almost like a dual chrome. But yeah, that's one of my favorite shading here. And the other ones I haven't touched yet. Moving forward, I have this uh, eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. I dropped it a couple times, that's why it looks like the way it is right now. I mean, the only shade I hate pen on is this one, not because I like it so much. I mean, I like it, but the other reason I hate pen so fast is because this shade was so powdery. I like this blue shade and this dark purple shade. I have another white and wild palette. This is definitely discontinued. And um, this is also one of my early purchased eyeshadow palettes. And this shade is my favorite. Looks like that. This is from e.l.f. In the shade Nude Mood. I like the color tone. It's neutral, it's nude, but it's not. they're not very pigmented. Next, Physicians Formula. I love this packaging. But those shadows are too bright to use on the eyes. I use them as a highlighter. And then I have this eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. This is the only thing I have. From Huda Beauty. I like the color in there, however, again, it's not very wearable on daily basis. Not for me. I just think it's unique and it's a good thing to have in the collection. Sassy Sienna's from Dose of Color. I got this palette from BoxyCharm. When I see the spoilers from BoxyCharm, I kind of wish I got a different um, shade than this. This is one of the things with prescription boxes, like you never know what you're gonna get. I like the formula, I like the fact it's all matte, but I already have a lot of eyeshadows that comes in this peachy tone, so I maybe will sell this on Poshmark. Butter London eyeshadow palette. I like this palette. Unfortunately, I mean, there's four shimmer color. There's only two matte, and these two matte are not even like blendable. Okay, just come in. I like the colors in here, but however, it's just a little hard to use on a daily basis because of the majority of shimmer shade. But sometimes if I just want to go on pure shimmer with no mattes at all, I'll go for this pink one because wonderful formula, gorgeous. Storybook eyeshadow palette, this one also from BoxyCharm. When I see the spoilers on Instagram, I went ahead and changed my beauty quiz in BoxyCharm so that I, that I prefer the, um, saying that I prefer the green tone eyeshadows because I really really want to get this green one instead of the red one that was also one of the possible items in BoxyCharm. So I'm, I'm so glad I got this one. I don't really have many green eyeshadows so 
This is definitely a keep. Makeup Revolution. This is one of my early own palette, Reloaded palette in the shade Division, I guess. And also one of my only dupe eyeshadow palette for another high-end brand. I personally don't like to buy dupes. The only reason I got this is because I tried to save some money. It was also because the Sculpture palette has some um, quality issue. That's why I went with the Makeup Revolution. You can see uh, I got quite a bit of dent on each eyeshadow even though I haven't hit pan on any shadow yet. This shade, I repressed it with some lip balm in there because I tried to recreate some uh, uh, those Super Shock eyeshadow quality like ColourPop, but it was not the same. However, this shade is still very pretty. Moon Dust from Urban Decay. This used to be my go-to swatch palette at Sephora because I just love how glittery and sparkly it is. Once I saw this on the sale, I definitely went ahead and grabbed it. But after I own this palette, it's been more than a year now and I haven't really used it as much as I thought I would be. I always thought like I'm gonna use it on a special occasion on top of my eyeshadow, but it just never come across an opportunity like that. Norvina, this is my only palette from Anastasia. You can tell that I use this a ton. I hit pan on two of the shades. This is definitely an everyday go-to makeup and uh, awesome quality. I didn't realize there was a huge quality difference between brands until I started using some of the high-end palette. The formula, the, even though they're all powders, they're not the same type of powder. <laughs> Looking at the dirty packaging, you know that I have used in this a lot. Too Faced Sweet Peach, everybody's favorite. Well, most people's favorite. I know it was a huge hype about this like years ago. I'm really happy with the amount of use I got out of this palette because I want this for a long time. But always have been pending on getting this because of the price. But when I finally got it, I promised like to myself, I'm gonna make my money worth. Clover, one of my favorite packaging from ColourPop, absolutely. I recently just got this from Too Faced website because I know it's been a long time since this palette came out and they explained the concept behind this palette. I just love this packaging, like it's super cute. And it's definitely worth an item to be in the collection. Celeste Thunder from Dominic Cosmetic. I also got this from BoxyCharm. However, I can tell definitely the quality of shadow is super good and intense pigmented. However, I don't, it's just not my color tone to use on daily basis. And then I have this palette from ColourPop. This is a long time ago, one of their highlighter palettes. Dream Street from Casting Like, of course. Favorite, one of my most reached palette from ColourPop. He paid on two of the shades in here. I'm super excited. I'm uh, working towards to hit another pen probably on this shade very soon. Another collection from uh, Kathleen Light is the Zolia palette. Uh, the quality, I would say the shadow is not as good as the Dream Street, at least in my personal opinion. It comes out very pigmented when I swatch it, but I don't reach for those shades very often, those streamer ones, because I think when I apply my eyelid, the only way to make it pigmented was to use my finger apply it. If I use a brush, it wouldn't work the same. One thing I love about Kathleen Light's collection is her palettes are always consist of different like variety of colors. So with her palette, you can go with like a million different looks. Element of surprise. Um, this was like, this used to be one of my favorite. This palette, a lot of people have like controversial opinions about this palette. The colors in the pan, the way it looks in the pan is not necessarily the same the way it looks on the eyelid. And then next one I have you had me a hello. Possible another Kathleen White collection, but we never know. This one, I wasn't very attracted to it when I first saw it on Instagram or in, on online. End up grabbing this on the Black Friday sale. And after trying this out, I realized, wow, I actually use it a lot more than I thought it would be. <laughs> My favorite shade is this like dark plum purple color. My Little Pony. Uh, I know this is discontinued on the website. Honestly, I don't think it's uh, it's really cute palette, but it's not like suitable for everyday look. At least with my limited 
makeup technique. I can't make those colors work together. I also got this on a Black Friday sale. You know, because this palette is so cute. And when I first saw it came out, I just was like, oh, I love little ponies. You're a cutie. Okay, I got this one just last week from Alta. And... I have something to say about this palette. When I first walked in Alta, like this palette just caught my eyes. It was right in the front door, just sitting there for you to see them. And this whole color, purple-ish color tone was like screaming for my name because I don't think I have any other eyeshadow palette that has a purple tone like this. I know Norina does, but like Norina only has like one shade that's kind of a cool tone. All the others like neutral or warm. And this one has like a light purple and some nude neutral tones and this shade this is one of my favorite shades very similar to the one that's in wet and wild but look at this pigmentation though let's make a comparison with the wet and wild palette so this is the wet and wild one and if you swatch it like you can tell difference in like this is wet and wild this is your cutie and i don't yeah, why? Like, I'm pretty sure I swatched the samples when I was in Alta, but, and I was pretty amazed by the formula. If you see up close, it actually gets really chunky. Like, when I apply this on my eyelid, it falls all over my face. If I do my foundation before I do the eyes, and this is gonna be a disaster, <laughs> just by how much it's falling out. And especially this darkest one though, they don't have like a dark brown shade, but they have a dark purple shade called Hard Eyes. It actually feels kind of hard in the pan. And... Ta-da! Like, really? That's it? That's all it comes out? Like, with such a he, like dark shade, that's all it comes out? Like a pinkish berry instead of a purple. For this palette, I don't know, like, maybe just the item I'm grabbing. Or it's like, feel a little different than the sample I swatched. And after you use it, at home, I've been using it like for a straight week just to, you know, just to play with because I love this color tone so, so, so much. However, after using it for a week, I realized the pigmentation doesn't work the same on my eyelid. Like, it takes me, I uh, have to go back in the pan and hit a couple more times before I can, for it to actually show up on my eyelid. I don't know why it's that, so, like, at this moment, I don't really <laughs> want to reach for this that much I really it's really sad because I really like this palette Nubian 3 from Julia's palace I love this palette because first of all it has a lot more matte shade than in the neutral color but the shimmers are good look at that that's the shimmer lastly we have this Tarte palette I got from boxycharm oh my god this is one of my favorite palette from boxycharm the, the one they ever delivered to me first of all it's all matte because i love matte and second of all it's neutral it's nude and and it kind of smells like chocolate coming down i have nothing much to show those are like just random drawers for my wives and for my hair stuff and my facial mask this is my facial mask right there underneath there's some like random Maybe I should use one of this. And the last drawer here, ooh, has all my packaging. <laughs> I am one of those guys that keeps packaging of my makeup. Just cause, just because it's so cute. Look at this one from Too Faced. I love it. Like I'm thinking I'm gonna put all my packaging together in a frame and hang on the wall. Like some of my most loved, like favorite eyeshadow palettes and their packaging. Ooh, it'll be nice. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like my collection. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me. And I hope I will see you soon in my next video.